Hey crafty people! Welcome back to my channel and in case you're new here, I'm Sarah, also known as Craft Nerd because I'm a nerd who loves to craft. I do paper crafting, card making, junk journaling, and mixed media art. Let's get crafting! Okay, so it's time for another crafting PhD, which if you don't know stands for Project Half Done. And I've got a bunch of backgrounds that I created last year um, at Christmas time and I want to turn them into some finished cards. That's what we're going to do today. And I've pulled out, um, this is Tim Holtz Sizzix, it's Harvey, and it's 6666066. And I've already gone ahead and done um, most of the die cutting, I think. There may be some accessory bits that I need to go back and cut again. Um, not sure. I think I got pretty much everything to make cards out of all these bases. Um, and I just use some of my um, inky background scrap pieces that I have lying about and die cut a whole bunch of stuff out of them and some cream and white cardstock and gray and black and all sorts of stuff. And so I've got purple, blue, and pink backgrounds. So we've I've gone with some non-traditional colors. Um, and Harvey is a colorized dye, which means you layer up, but the way you layer, instead of layering teeny tiny bits for the most part, you're layering bigger pieces that have cutouts. So I've done all the pre-cutting, um, and I, so I'm going to start sorting through and deciding what colors I want to go on which card, and there are a couple different ways of laying out his ensemble. Um, so we'll play around with that as well. So let's see. So I'm gonna like lay out all of my die cut pieces so that I can have them separated by type. So we've got those pieces. These are the shirts that layer on top and I did them out of yellow or white, figuring that would give me some variety. And there's two different shirt styles. So we've got that shirt style and this shirt style, which gets those pieces on top. So let's divvy everything up and then we can decide what colors we think would work best with our purple. Finally, starting to get back into crafting post floor redo and I'm just, I'm struggling to get in gear. <laughs> And you may hear my printer going in the background. I am in preparation for Christmas in July, uh, working on getting all my Christmas printables printed, double-sided, and ready to go to get turned into some journals. All right. So we've got, oops, body, and then a little face that goes on, like so. And so we've got purple guy. Um, let's start with his legs. So they layer up. There's one, two, three. And actually it goes this way. It layers one, two, Three. And I only die cut these out of two different colors because I figured I could always ink if I wanted to change things up more. And then on top of that, we have his boots, which layer like so. Yes. I've got the picture off to the side to help with assembly. So, all right, let's 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 create some legs for this guy and I'm gonna use my tweezers if I can find them. Yep, there they are. And I'm gonna use our glitter glue to glue these guys together. Um, you can use whatever your preferred glue is. I like using my art glitter glue with the precision tip for small things like that because it just makes it easier to apply the right amount of glue instead of getting a whole bunch everywhere.
So let's go ahead and attach his legs on. Ooh, getting glue everywhere. Let's move that out of the way for now. And I'm noticing because I used glitter on this, I've got glitter all over the place now. Add his face bit on. And I'm just lining it up. There are indentations to show where it's supposed to go, and just in case I suspect it, you can't see it necessarily, but so as you can see. There's indents to show you where to stick things, so that helps when assembling these guys. All right, let's decide. So if we're going to do this one for the purple background, um, let's do let's do pink and green outfits for him. So let's pick out let's do that and that piece and that comes out and let's do that on white so we need <laughs> do, let's see let's let's test this out and see how we like it so we've got green White for his shirt. Green. Then pink on top. And then I think with this one we do a pink hat. we like that on here I think I kind of like that I think that's gonna work all right so let's get him fully assembled um I think before we're gonna add this I want to add some more color on his face this is a cream a very pale cream it's a little too pale um so I think it needs a little he needs a little uh more color on his face so let's get a brush I'm gonna go with this one which is antique linen and the brush Put a scrap piece of paper down and just kind of antique linen his face a little bit. All right, so let's attach this piece first. I think I needed to antique linen his hands too. think so there's cuffs and then this piece goes on next but there are some spots that I need to poke out first all right there we go nope next goes the shirt oh well, as I said I'm still very scattered post uh, floor redo it's gonna take a little while to get back into the groove of crafting and crafting on film because I did not craft for quite some time getting that flooring done. All right, let's. All right, let's see. Hat, let's put the hat on.
Now the shoulder pieces, what did I, I cut those out of? I did them out of white and yellow or just yellow? Let's see, I've got them over here and I may have just done them out of yellow. I think I wanna do the feathers on this one. For sure, and then there are two pieces that go on top. And I die cut them out of the same piece, figuring, well, it's one die, so you have no choice but to die cut it out of the same piece. I just didn't die cut it multiple times because I figured that was gonna end up having me have a whole heck of a lot more than I needed because I figured I could just come in and add some mustard seed. Let's go with the bigger one. Let's do the bigger one darker and just darken this up with a little bit more ink. So that's something to keep in mind with these types of dies. If you cut out one piece from like, in this instance, yellow cardstock or inky cardstock, you can always um, tweak the coloring by just adding a little bit of distress ink to it instead of having to cut it out yet again from another piece. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I want to put him in front of a Christmas tree, which I'm gonna need to die cut out. So let's, let's get the feather on. And I'm thinking I want to do a very light gray edging on the feathers just to help them pop a little bit some lost shadow and just ink those edges just a smidge. It'll help them stand out a little bit. Okay, so this guy Layers on top. Which then goes on there. And I'm going to use my quick stick which has like sticky stuff at the end to grab that and put a dot of glue here. There's one Harvey and I think I'm going to set this aside for a little bit and assemble some more guys and then go and do some additional die cutting because I think I want a tree behind him. There's also some facial pieces that you can die cut out, like a mustache. This one does a whole face, which I don't know, it looks kind of weird <laughs> with the indent. I don't know. Um, but, and I definitely think we're gonna add the belt on, which I do have the belt in white um, this is another one that cuts several pieces out in one color. Let's see, let's do the belt. Goes about there. And then the buckle is die cut also out of white, but we can ink that. And I'm trying to think, I think I will do that in black. Stick that there, get some black soot. It's a really dark dauber and sneak that up. Flip 
that guy over, use our quick stick, which is great for little pieces like this. Put a little glue on it and add it to our piece. And what I will probably do is I've got the liquid enamel stuff, which will give it a little bit of shine. So I'll probably grab that and add that on there. That did not work at all. All right, let's put some glue right there. And now we can stick that down because it's stuck to my finger. Get it in position. Grab some paper towel just to wipe off the excess glue. There we go. All right, so there's our first Harvey and he's gonna go on this card and I'm gonna set this guy aside and we're gonna assemble another one. So the glitter on this has got a little bit of purple to it. So let's do a Harvey with some purple to him. All right, we are gonna again add a little antique linen to his face. And his hands. And all of this gets covered up so it doesn't matter that I'm inking all over the place. Um, and let's grab his oh. boots. Let's what I may do is take a pause in the video and assemble all of the boots so that we can just put them on without having to stop and, you know, so you don't have to watch me assemble his boots a gazillion and six times. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to pause, get all of the boots assembled now that you've seen me do it um, so that we can just do the fun assembly where we're picking colors and designing his ensemble. Okay, so I have glued all of the feet together. I also went in and inked all of the faces on all of my extra bodies and made some color choices um, for pairings of the outfits. Um, so let's go ahead and finish assembling this guy. And I am going to do some inking in yellow again because for this one I'm going to do the little epaulets in yellow. So I put those away. Again, I'm gonna use a little lost shadow to ink the edges of our feathers to help them stand out a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and assemble this guy. Again, I'm using my art glitter glue, which if you're not familiar with it, there's no glitter in it. It was just uh, formulated for gluing glitter and it bonds pretty quickly and you can get a precision tip for it. And so that's why I, why I tend to use it for projects like this. There's also a die that cuts out cuffs to cover, but so far I'm not feeling the need to do that. I 
Okay, so my tip for adding this is start at the top bit because it lines up perfectly there and then you'll get your lining up for the bottom part of it. All right. Okay, let's grab an eraser and see if we can get that smoosh off of there. And we did, yay! All right, this guy is gonna go on this card base. And I think I'm just gonna glue him down and then I'm gonna put like a sentiment across the top for this one. All right, set that one aside. And I got this one for over here. And he needs some pants. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go through and assemble everybody and decide if the, uh, card needs something in addition to the Harvey or just stick them down. So that's what we're going to do now. I think this one I may want to add um, like a stack of presents that coordinate with him. So I'm going to set that aside for more die cuts. add the epaulets to this one as well. Apparently lost one. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and ink the base pieces all up while I've got the ink out so that they're all ready um, in case I find the missing piece too.
come. And this one I'm going to glue down and add a sentiment to, and I don't remember if I said that already, in which case I'll edit this all out. Next. So yeah, this is definitely one of those things, if you spend a little bit of time die cutting everything out, you can then assembly line a whole bunch of cards by just adding Harvey's to backgrounds. All right, so something ripped off or left smudge marks there. So he's definitely going to be going right there to cover that up. And I think on this one, the black that cuts out this also cuts out a strip to go like that. And I think I'm going to add that on. I also think because the black's doing a nice job popping. What I may do is cut the bands and add those to here, because I think that would pop nicely as well, um, and tie in a little bit more black. Yeah, I think, I think, We're going to add black bands on this one, and I think we're definitely going to add something over here. I just just don't know what yet. I'm going to read my die um, stash and see if I've got anything good that I think would go nicely there with for this card. I'm set that one aside. All right, he's definitely gonna go off to the side a little to let more of that show. Um, and I don't know yet if this is gonna get a sentiment or um, some die cuts. And I've got two more.
And this one I think is gonna get the feathers. So again, just a little ink on the edges. Alright, for these two, I'm going to add the enamel accents. And I'm going to let that dry. And while that's drying, I am going to do some more die cutting um, to add additional elements to these pieces. So I will be back in a bit. Okay, so had a bit of think, pulled some stuff out, die cut a bunch of stuff, and realized I had eight cards. And so I wanted to make, this is gonna be a set that's gonna go up for sale in my Kofi shop. So I went ahead and did another pink one because I had another pink background I could use. And so I just assembled him off camera and I did put the little cuffs on, on this guy. Um, and I forgot to die cut out the black stuff and the mustaches. Oi, um, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back again. <laughs> and with everything I need, die cut it out. Um, and what I decided to do is one in each color is getting a Christmas tree. One in each color is getting a sentiment. And then one in each color is getting Christmas presents with it. So let's start by finishing up this fellow here and I did go ahead and die cut the black strips to go on to whoops, his hat. I also decided to do the cuffs in black and decided he's going to get a feather and did the little thingy that goes with the feather in purple with black to go on top. And I had the, oh, there's the feathers. Okay. And I think he might get the moustache as well. So let's first by glue it. I'm going to first glue this down. And this came, comes from Twig and Stump, um, which is the snowman die by Tim Holtz and Sizzix. And I did not grab the thingy for it. Uh, so I'll leave the number down below if in case you're interested. And I'm just going to glue that on. Let's add the rest of his accessories. Okay, I'm gonna set this one aside um, for a minute because uh, I think I'm gonna do stickles for the ornaments and I wanna get all the tree ones ready and stickle all at once. Um, this guy's getting a sentiment and it's, I die cut Merry Christmas out of the green cardstock, inky cardstock. And so that's what this one's gonna get. Once I get the Merry Christmas out of here. Um, and this is an old set by Spellbinders. I don't know if it's still available. Um, I will double check the name if I can. Ooh. So I may need to pull out some scissors and help this along because this is watercolor paper. So it's a little thicker and so can be a little tough to die cut sometimes. And I should have run it through again and was in a rush to get this done and didn't do it. And now I've got to go in and finish die cutting it.
Okay, so Merry Christmas, and I'm trying to decide do I want him standing next to it or do I want him like standing on the Merry Christmas? And now that I've got it all die, die cut out, I think we're gonna go Merry Christmas next to him and possibly do it like so. Let's get that all glued down. Oh, and I found the missing epaulette piece. It was still in the die. So let's go ahead and add those on to this guy. And I was planning on doing that up higher instead of at the bottom, and I ended up putting it at the bottom. Okay, well, it's staying at the bottom. Because this is art glitter glue. Once it's stuck, it's stuck. Alright, so that one is done. Let's set him aside. This one's getting a Christmas tree, and we'll need stickles, so let's go ahead and do him. This guy's getting season's greetings. And this is a Tim Holtz Sizzix set. It is Holiday Word Script 660058, and I do have the dot to go above there. It's still in my paper, um, and I'll just add it once I put the sentiment down. I find it's a little easier to do it that way. Use a paper towel to press it down so that any glue seepage goes onto the paper towel instead of my fingers. The dot, I am just going to put a dot of glue there and add the dot. And then I've got one more that's getting a sentiment, and it's this guy. And for him, I'm doing merry and bright, and I do have the dot for the bright. I tend to leave them, if they, if they don't pop out of the paper, I leave them in, because it's less likely that I'm gonna lose them that way. And this is from that same Tim Holtz Sizzix die set. All right, um, and he's gonna get a mustache. I die cut out three mustaches. So one of each is going to get a mustache. Okay, for the presents, I use the Sizzix Tim Holtz die set. Um, Santa's Helper 664192. And I die cut the presents out of a variety of colors uh, so I can mix and match the parts. Oh, and you know what? I've got one more Santa with a tree, or Harvey with a tree, so let's go ahead and just 
glue that down. We've got stacks of presents that will go on each one and I've got all the other bits and bobs that go to the presents. So let's see if I can figure out who gets what, where, when, and how. And I realize I am like drifting down off screen because I need to adjust my camera, I think, because it's too, f the on screen is too far up on my desk. I'm not going to want to stick because of the glitter underneath it but we will make it stick it will stick all right we're just going to add way more glue he's going to get the mustache i think yeah i think this is the one i want to have the mustache I feel like this ooh, video is getting way long. I think I'm going to show you the stickling and assemble the other two of these guys off camera because yeah, it's just me gluing stuff together and that's gotta be getting boring at this point. So for the tree guys, let's go ahead and do one of those on camera. I'm gonna grab some stickles. Okay, I lied. Instead of grabbing stickles, I grabbed uh, liquid pearls. And I've got Platinum Pearl, Mint Green, Hydrangea, Peacock, and Lavender Lace. And I'm just gonna go around and add a few dots to make ornaments. And to get those guys to flatten out, I'm just gonna flick behind. And it caused my purple ones to flatten out too much. All right, I'm gonna set this aside and let all of those dry. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other two trees and assemble the presents. And once everything is dry and assembled, I'll be back. So I have finished up all of the Harvey guards. They are, the stickles are all dry and I've put them all on card bases. So let's take a look at everybody. So we've got this guy. I'll bring it up close so you can see all the details.
So there are all of our Harvey cards and that's all for today. So if you enjoyed this video, please do all the things that lets YouTube know you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment down below. Thanks for joining me and happy crafting.